Welcome back to your next instalment of Tuesday Tech Tips. As an educator, you know how important written communication skills are to the success of your learners. People often judge you on the quality of your writing, especially in the workplace. Although Microsoft Word has a spelling and grammar feature, it can often miss the target. In this week's Tuesday Tech Tips, I'll be showing you Grammarly, which is going to help you and your learners craft more effective written work. Grammarly's got a web version, a Chrome extension, and an add-in that will work with Microsoft Word and Outlook to help you and your learners improve your writing. The program's much more effective at catching spelling and grammar errors than the spell checkers that come with other programs. There's a premium version, but we'll be exploring the free version, which is really useful. To get started, navigate to Grammarly.com and click the Add to Chrome button. Fill in your registration details and then continue to the free version of Grammarly, and then click the Extension Installer. This will add Grammarly to your Chrome browser. And there you go, you can see the green Grammarly icon in the extensions up here on the right. Now firstly, we need to set the language to British English. To do this, go to Account, and then to Customize, and change the language preferences here. If we go to the My Grammarly button on the left, you can create a new document here. As you can see, there's also a demo document. I'll use that to show you some of the features. Just click the icon and it'll open up inside a text editor. As you can see, it's highlighted both the spelling and grammar errors in the document. What I really like is that although some words are spelt correctly, Grammarly can still tell that there's been a mistake, like here. I talked to the saleswoman and listened at she carefully. If we look at the alerts on the right, Grammarly tells us why it thinks we've made a mistake. So here, there's an issue with the pronoun. I really love this feature. It embeds the correct terminology to help you develop your writing knowledge. If we click on the word with a red dot beside it, we're given suggestions to use, and we simply click on the green highlighted word, and again, we do the same with at, and change it to to. So now the sentence reads, I talked to the saleswoman and listened to her carefully. So you can write directly in the Grammarly text editor, or you can upload a Word document. Here I'll upload a script I've created for a Smart Assessor training video. At the moment, this Set Goals pop-up opens. You can complete this to help Grammarly offer more precise suggestions, and you can turn it off here if you want to. As you can see, Grammarly uploads the document, analyzes it, and highlights the errors. Go through them and make the changes you feel are necessary. Now, because I've installed the Grammarly extension, if I go into a web application like Blendspace and open up our last session, you can see from the green icon that Grammarly is working within the app, and we can make sure we catch as many errors as possible before giving them to our learners. It works with Twitter, Facebook, Gmail, and Outlook Online. So here, in a new email, if I add a mistake, Grammarly will pick it up, saving you the embarrassment of sending out mistakes in your emails. There's even a free add-on for Microsoft Word and Outlook that you can try out. Grammarly is a free, easy-to-use tool that can spot your spelling and grammar mistakes and help you to develop your writing skills. That's it for this week. See you next Tuesday for your 10th Tuesday Tech Tip.